Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Now to hear the word be doers of the word. Glory be to a higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today we start the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. Christ brings spiritual blessings. Before we begin our reading or before we begin the prayer for children of all ages, I want to know are you guys saved? Hallelujah. I show when you woke up this morning, tell Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. And I show you told your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. I tell you that because a lot of people don't understand how crucial it is that you tell your loved ones that you love them. A lot of people take it for granted that, oh, yeah, I'm going to see them tomorrow. You're not, we're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of the day. Too many people close their eyes and don't wake up. And then you say, I didn't even get to say that I love them or tell them bye. You don't, no, no, you got to be able at least to tell them why you see them, you love them. And don't let anything get in the way of you telling them that, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to know, are you guys saved? Have you given your life to Christ Jesus? Do you read God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, so that you may reach out to him, cry out to him in sincerity and truth, that you keep crying out to him till you hear from him? Because the Father wants a personal relationship with each and every one of his children. That is what he's seeking. From each and every one of us. It's not that you, oh, religion and that. No, it's about a personal relationship. So you make sure that you reach out to him so that you may hear from him when he's speaking to you and be obedient to his will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I read King James Version of the Bible. Go down on your knees in prayer. Keep crying out to him so you hear from him. He'll teach you to he'll, he'll answer. He knows your heart. Not only that, he'll begin to teach you the word of God. He will teach you the word so that you will have understanding. Because the Lord said in all you're getting, get understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to rightfully divide the word of God. Hallelujah. And we also live a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshy bodies. And the flesh is always warring with the spirit. Hallelujah. We got to make sure that we're walking in the spirit. With that being said, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. And I always say the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. We're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. We're going to get right into our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, my Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for your daily provisions. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that train us up by your word and we love them. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love. And Father, thank you for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed, amen. Let's go into our reading. Hallelujah. We saw the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, Christ brings spiritual blessings. From Paul, chosen by God to be an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's people who live in Ephesus and are faithful followers of Christ Jesus, I pray that God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ will be kind to you and will bless you with peace. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ for the spiritual blessings that Christ has brought us from heaven. Before the world was created, God had Christ choose us to live with him and to be his holy and innocent and loving people. God was kind and decided that Christ would choose us to be God's own adopted children. God was very kind to us because of the son he dearly loves. And so we would, sh we would praise, we should praise God. Hallelujah. Christ sacrificed his life's blood to set us free which means that our sins are now forgiven. Christ did this because God was so kind to us. God has great wisdom and understanding, and by what Christ has done, God has shown us his own mysterious ways. Then, when the time is right, God will do all that he has planned, and Christ will bring together everything in heaven and on earth. God always does what he plans, and that's why he had Christ choose us. He did this so that we Jews would bring honor to him and be the first ones to have hope because of him. Christ also brought you the truth, which is the good news about how you can be saved. 
you put your faith in Christ and were given the promised Holy Spirit to show that you belong to God. The Spirit also makes us sure that we will be given what God has stored up for his people. Then we will be set free and God will be honored and praised. Prayer, uh, Paul's prayer. I have heard about your faith in, Lord, in the Lord Jesus, <coughs> excuse me, and your love for all of God's people. So I never stop being grateful for you, as I mention you in my prayers. I ask the glorious Father and God of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you his spirit. The spirit will make you wise and let you understand what it means to know God. My prayer is that light will flood your hearts and that you will understand the hope that was given to you when God chose you. Then you will discover the glorious blessings that will be yours together with all of God's people. I want you to know about the great and mighty power that God had for us, for us followers. I'm going to hear them say it again. I want you to know about the great and mighty power that God has for us followers. It is the same wonderful power he used when he raised Christ from death and let him sit at his right hand in heaven. Hallelujah. At his right side in heaven. There Christ rules over all forces, authorities, powers, and rulers. He rules over all beings in this world and will rule in the future world as well. God has put all things under the power of Christ. And for the good of the church, he has made him the head of everything. The church is Christ's body and is filled with Christ who completely fills everything. Hallelujah. God's will in tomorrow is still in the book of Ephesians chapter 2. From death to life. You all tell your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? You cannot be saved in any other. It's only through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's no other name known in heaven amongst men whereby we must be saved. No other name. It's only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to a guy. Glory be to a higher. I always tell you the truth that I love you and Father God loves you more. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we all must do. So please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. If you want your Father who art in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions. And we know some of us have very much. We have been through, yes. And we have done things. Then you better forgive your fellow man. I don't care who he is, she is, or what they have done. Because, see, we think we're righteous. <laughs> and our righteousness, as the Lord said, is like filthy rags. That's filthy rags. Please repent and turn from your wicked ways. And forgive. Forgive. If you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. Your father not going to forgive you. Not only that, your prayers can be hindered. We don't want our prayers hindered. I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.